All right, guys, so today we're going to go over repositioning. Uh, in the first clip, I want to show you guys how repositioning can win you a fight. Right? Repositioning as in we get engaged over by the 203, 204 rooms on the three-story dorms, and we reposition to the middle stairs. And by repositioning to the middle stairs, what that does is it causes that player to not pick us up because he's aiming further back. His gun may even be covered, be covering us when we peek him, right? So that is one thing, guys. If you're being unpredictable, if you're repositioning, you will win more fights. That's just how this game works. That's how it works in real life, too. Uh, the next clip is going to be of someone making a fatal mistake. And that fatal mistake is going to be them stepping on metal, right? Whenever you hear sound cues generated by a player it lets you know that they're there um, and it was crucial to these players that they didn't make those sound cues because when they made those sound cues that allowed me to win the fight so what i'm doing right here is i'm pausing to see if i can hear you on first floor So the reason I head underneath is to see if I can hear other players above. Even though we killed one player, we want to make sure there's no one else. We didn't check. I don't play this map enough to know when power has been turned on or not. Is that bad? You look like a bush. Imagine. I feel like he's the only one. What do you guys think? We're not hearing anything right. Not hearing anything left. He had a little stupid green helmet on. He was, it looked like he was sitting in a bush. Oh, a good way to check that. I didn't even think about that. Dude, he blended in like a bush. And there's not even a bush there. It's just long grass. So we're going to throw a grenade over here by the Connex. Just in case there's a buddy behind there. We don't know which way he came from. Left or right. That is insane. So right around here, we hear a metal noise. So we know that someone is in that corner. So the reason that we're nading is to cause them confusion and to push them around to areas that are going to make it easier for us to play. Oh, smoke grenade! Oh, you're doing good things, dude. So a smoke grenade means they either have thermals <laughs> or they're trying to make no me move way. through a certain area. But what this does is it actually gives me concealment. I'm going to get hit with that thermal and allows me to move to a more advantageous position. And what we're doing is spraying through the bushes because most players don't prone out. 
He'll be crouched in a bush. Speed and aggression are what are going to win you fights in this game. As well as war cries. And not using a bush to hide behind. Anyone else? While your buddy's you got a buddy? slayed. Frickin' dum dum. That guy should have killed me. This guy, I don't know what he was doing. That was a pretty good tactical smoke. And you know where they messed up? Guys, what is one thing you think they did wrong? Right there. What do you think they did wrong? 100%. What What let me know that they were there? Exactly, Raz. Why would you walk on metal? And they waited. Yes. <laughs> ah. There. There's no other... There's nothing else they could have done worse than walk on the metal and let me know they were there. There they are. Someone's running through. I wonder if we can hit them. Bro, what are you doing? Why would you go around like a dum dum? And it also levels your uh, health and vitality. You need vitality. At yeah, no big deal. Oh, frames are dropping, dudes. I don't have any nades, though. This is going to be good. Didn't have much gear, so... Not much to worry about, to be fair. I don't think. We'll see. We'll find out. Wrecked. Oh, if you didn't know, you can shoot through uh, all of those tents. In case you didn't know. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't know that. Actually, I'm sure he didn't know that. Because he stood there and took those like a champ. Easy.